lot of uh, theologians interpret those to be talking about a certain king at the time rather than talking about Satan. And the word Lucifer literally means light bearer in Latin. So it seems like that was a misnaming of him as well from the Vulgate. Yeah, a light bearer or sometimes called son of morning. You know, and for a long time, Lucifer served God. We don't know how long. Uh, until the day evil or sin was found in him when he said, I will exalt myself to the throne of God. Now, uh, many biblical scholars uh, believe prophecies like this can have a double meaning. They can uh, uh, refer to something or some character in this life, in this world, uh, and then a spiritual meaning as well. Didn't Lucifer serve God in the book of Job after the fall of man? Well, he had access to God. Uh, and he uh, was the accuser of, of the brethren uh, to God. So some think he still has access to the throne of God. Can Lucifer do anything without God's permission, according to the book of Job? Well, I think um, God's uh, got Lucifer on a leash. He can do, uh, basically, Lucifer or Satan can only do what we allow him to do because uh, as Christians because Christ has given us power over Satan power over the devil but even a lot of Christians don't take the authority over Satan they have and they give place to Satan by giving into temptation and temptation comes from the devil comes from the lust of the flesh comes from the world and so basically, the only power Satan has is what mankind uh, grants to him. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any others? Um, one thing I was wondering about is uh, if uh, you said that hope was you know, something that we, we had to have, that uh, the lack of hope in hell was what would make it so horrible. Uh, if heaven is so perfect, wouldn't you not have hope there? Well, I hope you're satisfied, and, and we also have hope and believe that as things get worse and worse uh, uh, in hell, that things will get better and better for us in heaven as we increase in our knowledge and understanding of God. So it's, it's not always perfect in heaven. It's getting well, I think, I think we'll be, in, be increasing the knowledge in heaven, but the perfection that the Bible speaks of is a moral perfection. And I believe we can become morally perfect in this life. I don't think, uh, I believe even God is, is increasing in knowledge. God is learning things. God learns things? Yes. You know, uh, when, when God uh, tempted uh, uh, Abraham and had him sacrifice his son, and it's just as he's about to slay his son, uh, God says, stop, now I know you fear me. So God, you know, knows all there is to know right now, but, you know, there's things that will be unfolding in the future that God, too, can learn. Yes? So my question is this. You said that there is, basically, heaven is in the scripture, and from what you've said, heaven is a place of perfection and of moral perfection. Therefore, there isn't any materialistic means for the people that are in heaven or for the souls that are in heaven. Um, and since hell is a place of hopelessness, what is there to hope for in heaven? If you already have everything, you're already morally perfect, you can't hope for hell to get better, you can't hope for the... Uh, well, we have, we have hope uh, that uh, God will continue and we believe, really our hope is basically transformed to faith. We've experienced, we're basically experiencing what we've hoped for. So there's fulfillment in heaven. We're always constantly fulfilled. But, you know, we got to even continue to believe and continue to love God in heaven. Uh, a person could conceivably, just as Lucifer uh, rebelled, he lived in a perfect atmosphere. Uh, he, he was in heaven for eons of time. And uh, he began to get his hope misplaced. He had, his hope was that he could uh, overtake the throne of God. We should never have a hope like that. Yeah. Okay, um, I'd like to sum off of what he said a little while ago. Um, so basically, since God is still learning, which mean, that means God is limited. 
his, his power is limited. He's not. He's God, not. God limited his power when he gave man a free will. And God limited his power when he chooses when he chose to use his power lovingly. Just in the same way love limits limits us all. You know, if we're loving people, we're not gonna uh, rob, steal, murder, and rape. Loving people don't do that. So love puts limits on you. You know, some of you guys are stronger than the typical the typical woman. So you know, you can you can force her to have intimate relations with you, but if you're loving, certainly you're not gonna do that. So love puts limits on God. Uh, sounds like God's playing a huge game with us. He's playing a what? A game with us. Like if, if this is all true, it sounds like God's playing a game with us. And what is that game? What is that game? He's just throwing us out there and testing whether or not we'll we'll just well, it is the game of life. He's trying to uh, develop our character and uh, you know in a, in, a, in sports uh, a coach will often probably schedule teams that he knows are better and are likely to beat his team not because he likes to see him beat now but to test them to bring the best out of them and your professors make it difficult for you, hard assignments, long reading lists, not because they want to make colleagues like miserable for you, uh, but to uh, challenge you. And so you can learn. And follow up then. Yes. Okay. Well, um, basically, um, you said that um, uh, like God sends us to tell and it's like, so it's just like, it's, we're, we're punished, right? I'm sorry. Um, punished for sinning on, uh, um, for sinning and not accepting God, right? We are sent to hell. Well, you're punished for uh, sinning, for violating your conscience, okay. for doing, for not doing what you know you ought to do, and then He offers you salvation, and if you reject it, there's no hope for you. Well, I'm wondering, um, related to like God, God's punishment as like you know just if, as if someone would, like your, your parents would punish you, correct or? Um, if your parents punish you when you did something wrong, well, if he sends you to hell, that's you're gonna be punished once. Why can't? Why don't we? Um, don't we have the mental capacity to learn to stop sinning? Like, why? Why do we keep on sinning? Why? Why is that? Why is it? I don't know. Uh, you know, you're asking me for a reasonable. I well, believe all well, sin I mean, is I mean, unreasonable. I mean, I mean if, uh, if God gave us a mind, we still have the mind of hell. Don't don't you think that we would have the mental capacity to accept him then? And if we accept him then, why are we still eternally Well, dead? one might argue, and some have speculated, yes, theoretically, you could uh, still uh, accept God in hell. But why would you when you did not do it, do it in this lifetime? Because again, to accept God. Well, because now we're punished. Now now, now, now we know that this, that, that like, oh, this is this is true. This is really the power of God. This, yeah, this is, I, I think there are a lot of people that are convinced that Christianity is true in this lifetime but they don't want to be a Christian. They refuse to be a Christian because to embrace Christianity requires you to embrace a life of self-sacrifice, a life of self-denial, to embrace a life of love. And I don't think people uh, in hell will be any more willing to do that in hell than they are here on earth. Plus in hell, there's none of the godly influences. The Holy Spirit is not there drawing you to repentance. There's not a, a godly uh, grandmother or grandfather uh, exhorting you to do what's right, uh, exhorting you to uh, uh, follow God. And so all the influences in hell will be bad. We're here on earth, we have good and bad influences, and unfortunately we've all chosen to follow the bad influences. Now God uh, encourages us to change our mind, to repent, and follow the good influences but no good influences in hell. So I, although theoretically one might argue a person uh, could repent uh, in hell, I don't believe they will. Um, we're running behind, so I know